Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, February 15th, 2019. We all love a Friday, right? And it's pretty rock darn remarkable to see the resiliency of these bulls. After a very disappointing um, retail sales number, and a resulting gap down in the morning, those bulls just fought back hard, not allowing um, the uh, the market to really sell off. The Dow itself, um, although we finished lower by 100 points, uh, certainly was not showing um, any bearishness uh, in, that, in that move down. So let's take a look. What do we got going on here? Well, clearly we have a, a strong market, a, a bull run that has been substantial. And we have a nice level support here and we have a very clear price resistance right up in here. And there's no signs um, in this market right now that we're willing to give up this trend. The bulls are fighting and fighting hard to hold this market up, really defying gravity in uh, a pretty substantial way. And let me demonstrate that in, 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 in a simple chart here. I'm going to... Um, there we go. I'm going to uh, switch this to an actual Dow chart. And um, if we take a look at the Dow and then take a peek at this on a weekly, I'm going to remove all those lines and take a peek at this on weekly. Notice that we haven't had a single dark candle, not a single day, um, week of uh, bearishness since um, uh, Friday the 28th of last year. Um, as a matter of fact, we have rallied nearly 3,700 points uh, virtually straight up into this resistance area. Pretty darn remarkable when you think about it. And if we take a look um, at the weekly here, we've um, just uh, fought our way straight back up through that uh, weekly 50-day moving average and we're holding strong in here truly remarkable uh, when you uh, see a run of that strength if you take a look at the um, S&P 500 you'll see this a very similar thing rallying into a major resistance area here I might add but up nearly 400 points since that February I mean uh, since that December 28th of last year um, just truly a remarkable month and a half bull run and there's no denying that the bulls are still in control of this bull run now with that in mind we have to also consider the fact that we're heading into a weekend a month and a half bull run no major turnbacks in that period of time heading into the weekend how much risk do you want to carry and have you taken uh, profits that would be my big concern uh, for most folks is let's not give back our money let's not chase this rally this late um, uh, this late into the rally let's be really careful about how we trade uh, but I you know the bulls are certainly pushing higher this morning and now um, as I'm recording this we are now showing a 75 point gap up this morning so the bulls are certainly fighting hard um, uh, probably um, uh, utilizing uh, good earnings reports to fuel that rally so let's watch this close we could finish out this week very very strong and there's no reason to believe here just yet that we're ready to falter. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, um, really quickly. Once again, bulls defending hard. That retail sales didn't shake the market at all. I still think it's kind of interesting that it shook the Asian markets up and um, pushed them lower, but we just refuse to go down here. And as you can see, holding a very nice support level here, our resistance level up here, uh, tremendously strong. So watch this if we approach that level. And as you can see, the SPY is looking to gap up this morning. Uh, those bulls continuing to push. Um, those upside moves. Let's take a look at the Qs real quick. Qs also holding strong. It looked like at one point we could slip below our trend line, but held on nicely. And here again, holding that support level and our resistance level right here, we do have to pay attention to, and then a stronger resistance level, uh, just a little bit above that. So watch that closely. But uh, again, no signs of bearish action here just yet. If we take a look at IWM, IWM was 
remarkably strong yesterday. I'm refusing to go down at all, and you can see IWM has moved up here and tagged this resistance area in the chart and now uh, once again showing strength uh, this morning so uh, pushing those resistance levels here again let's take a look at at IWM on a weekly that's truly a remarkable run up I mean truly a remarkable run up and running into a significant level of resistance so we'll want to keep an eye on that um, let's take a quick peek at uh, the VIX the VIX yesterday started to show a little bit uh, of fear, and then uh, the bulls fighting back so hard uh, drew, drove that candle a little bit uh, back down. But I think it's interesting, even though we're rallying, we're starting to see these um, uh, candles rising here just a little bit in the VIX. A little bit of fear maybe coming into the market, just a tiny little bit, uh, and a little caution um, might be... Uh, starting to display itself here as this rally extends and extends and extends so kind of keep that in mind if we take a look at t2122 you can see on t2122 we are um, significantly elevated here um, I've said this many times before, I haven't seen uh, a stay up here and hold up here this long. Um, and boy, I, I can't remember the last time. As a matter of fact, in 2017, in that a massive rally of 2017 that the market had, we we didn't tag these levels up here. So pretty remarkable uh, strength here being shown by the bulls. And um, the they're continuing to fight and de defend this area. So please keep in mind even though we do have room uh, to go higher after that little bit of pullback yesterday we certainly have significant uh, room to move lower and we should be being a little bit cautious about the market not chasing um, into this weekend but maybe thinking about some profits and reducing um, some risk so think about that as you uh, plan your uh, day and um, how much risk you want to carry into the weekend let's take a, a look at um, the economic calendar here economic calendar has some things that can certainly move us around this morning we have empire state manufacturing here this morning and we have import export prices certainly not the biggest reports uh, or most important reports the the report of the day that could probably move us around more most likely is this industrial production report so we'll have to keep an eye on those as those come out um, uh, or that comes out shortly after the open we also have a fed speaker today and consumer sentiment at 10 uh, o'clock um, this morning eastern time on the earnings front, we only have we have a little slowdown in earnings here. Only about a 50 companies reporting earnings this morning, but I have seen um, like PepsiCo. PepsiCo has already reported and reported um, in in line, and uh, the stock is bouncing up here uh, this morning. So we're seeing some good earnings reports. And last night we had a, a good earnings report out of Nvidia one of those uh, tech bellwethers and that's gapping up this morning certainly going to provide some help to the market and the bullishness that we're seeing in the market this morning so let's keep an eye on these things we've got all, um, all these things pushing the market up the the bulls don't want to give up they uh, want to ignore retail sales completely and just continue to push higher um, that gives me a, a reason to be just a little bit cautious as i head into the weekend just that we might be a little, a little bit stretched here let's um take just a second and I want to say thank you to everyone uh, the YouTube channel has been um, experiencing some really great growth and that growth is directly um, related to um, to you folks the folks that are are supporting this channel by clicking those thumbs up buttons and um, leaving comments on the channel um, I have to just 
I'm humbled by uh, the growth that we've had lately. And I just want to thank you very, very much for just taking the time to do that. You know, I do these um, not in any way to make money. Um, I do these videos in truly with the heart of trying to help everyone um, do a better job as uh, it, with their trading. And I think market preparation is extremely important. So if you guys uh, continue to find this these videos helpful please uh, continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments it makes a huge difference and, and I just want to say you guys are awesome thank you very much so with that let's take a look at some charts uh, that are uh, maybe uh, showing some good signs and something that you might want to put on a watch list um, I'm not suggesting that they any of these are I buy today but um, certainly showing good signs and something you might want to pay attention to first off pan W pan W um, really nice looking chart beautiful uptrend you can see on on uh, yesterday nearly a bullish engulfing candle I have a price alert right here but also keep in mind we have resistance highs all-time highs up here in pan w um, really strong move but I think there's enough uh, particularly with options enough move in here to make that worthwhile so you might want to keep an eye on pan w I saw a really nice chart here in Wayfair nice little uh, trend up this may consolidate a little bit more over to its trend before before this goes but really nice uh, pattern here this nice W pattern breaking through the center holding up here above there as support showing all kinds of signs you might want to have Wayfair um, on your chart one of our big techs Apple Apple had it had this nice rally um, here in Apple nice little resting pullback and now consolidating in a nice tight way we might want to keep an eye on this and as you can see I've placed an alert on this chart to see if Apple is going to pop up through there. Uh, there may be some opportunities coming here soon um, in Apple. Um, I'm watching AMD pretty closely. AMD has held up really well considering, um, you know, the the pattern that we have here just not wanting to sell off after uh, this nice move up and so I've I placed her uh, um, uh, an alert right in here and I'm watching this uh, chart pretty closely if that were to pop up may want to take advantage of that so there's lots and lots of good charts out there lots of places you can be looking for trades I want to say congratulations to the folks of hit and run candlesticks right away options over the last couple of days, I've seen lots of great profits being taken in charts all, all over the place. So I want to say congrats to, to you guys for doing such a good job and remembering that um, taking profits is a big key part of, of being a successful trader. And that's a, one of those challenging areas for a lot of folks. We, we at Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options like to take profits into strength. When the market is moving up, we want to be taking those profits, not letting greed get in the way and um, trying to um, squeeze every every cent out of a trade um, and then ending up catching some kind of a gap down in the market um, pulling some of those profits away so well done everyone I want to uh, congratulate you this has been a tremendous month and a half in the market and um, you guys have just been knocking it out of the park here so well done Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic weekend. And, and for all of you folks out there that might still be struggling, please continue to work real hard on your trading. Never give up on yourself because I can tell you it is very worth it um, you know, once you kind of get this figured out and get on the right track with trading. If there's anything we can do, please always feel free to, to, to ask a question. I'm always happy to help traders. Everyone, take care. Have an awesome weekend. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Remember, Monday is a holiday. The market is closed. The hit and run candlesticks and right way options will also be closed. So bright and early Tuesday morning when the market reopens. Everyone, take care. We'll talk to you all very, very soon. Have a good one.